This is Naoki Yoshida. This is Fern Hall. And you are listening to Aetherite Radio. Aetherite Radio. Here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Aetherite Radio Gamerscape's Final Fantasy XIV podcast. I'm Fusion X, and joining me today, we have Bryn, Aldino, and Zanidra. It's me! Hello. That's I'm right. here. I exist. It's been it's been a little while since our last episode. We've been busy with a lot of stuff since FanFest, so uh, this is the FanFest episode um, that you probably have heard a lot of things about already, but we're going to talk Hopefully. about it, our thoughts, and uh, a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, so first off, obviously, uh, Shadowbringers is the name of 5.0. We, we've known this for a little while now. <laughs> Uh, what well, it might have been registered as a copyright thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean the, the craziest thing about this too is like we've known about it since I think it came out what in June? Well so so we found it yeah. later, but it was it was copyrighted in June. Mm-hmm. It um, was long enough ago that when they announced it at FanFest, I was like, Oh yeah. I that. Right? It's like one of those things that should have Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Check. I mean, the trailer was great, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that yeah. it's like, has it already been settled what the acronym is going to be for it? Because Stormblood SB, and then I was asking you guys about it. Well, it's so long settled that when I sit here, I was like, what's the acronym? You guys, like, we've settled this. Like, we're, we're also, also SB. Also yeah. SB. It's, you it's know what? I never, also I never SB. refer to them as their acronyms, partially mm. because I'm so bad at acronyms. Well, and <laughs> also, I think it's not difficult to say Stormblood. Well, the, problem, I think, the, the problem I've run into is I, I keep getting them mixed up, and that's just my dyslexia. I was like, Shadow Blood, damn. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what it's is fine. It? It's it's fine. A... People, people <laughs> still called Stormblood Heaven's Word for months. So, what ifs? That's not well, even similar. You know, the, the benefit that we have is we're not sitting here in Otteron Whitegate shouting for COP missions or something. You know, it's, yeah, it's sure. yeah. yes, the acronym is still technically the same, but does it matter? Nah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. No, it, I don't think it does. I just think that uh, it was obviously uh, one of the things I think gamers gave. And I don't know if you wrote the article, Fusion, or whatever, but it was talking about the dawn, the day, like the thematic uh, going into the name because it's Shadowbringers. It's like you said, yes. that, like, it was Heaven's oh. Word. ARR is the morning, Heaven's Word's the day, Stormblood's the kind of evening, and then Shadowbringers is the night. And that's like. Yeah, that came, uh, from, that came from Moose. Uh, yeah, that was. Okay. It was, it was essentially flavor text, I think, when we finally found the copyright for Shadowbringers. I'm oh, like, well, I, I can't just say, this is probably it. I'm like, let's build this out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and yeah, that was something that, that At the fan us. fest. Uh, yeah. We're talking about, was it Prelude and Violet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. They were like, yes, that is what Violet means. Good job. <laughs> you figured it out. Good job, guys. Brilliant. Congrats. Brilliant. It's like we oh, figured out God. Samurai from Sam Raimi. I mean, you're yeah. not getting anything... Past yeah. this community. Game on, um, Yoshi P. <laughs> so we have the logo. We have the logo for for Shadowbringers, which is really cool. It's got that Dark Knight. Um, we also got to see uh, the collector's edition artwork, which is really slick. Oh yes. Um, my the There's only a the, girl. Only, mm-hmm. the only issue I have with this artwork in general is every time I look at whatever this horse thing is, mm-hmm. I just keep yeah. thinking Slepner. I'm yeah. like, I know it's not. Yeah. But it is. It's got <laughs> like some like things that. going on, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's got some horns, some fangs. It's, this, I don't, it's weird. This might be the first physical collector's edition I'll have to purchase since my original 1.0 collector's edition. Mm. You haven't you gotten makes any me of the really other ones? sad. No, I have. Oh, I have like I love my man. digital collector's edition. I'm all in this digital beautiful landscape. And even though it's like people are like, oh, you want? It's like mm, you know. I'm, well, I guess I you almost, have kids, so maybe you don't Heavensward. want the statues. <laughs> I almost, oh, I almost went Heaven's Word because I love, I have a love of dragons. And then, uh, and then I was like, oh, you know, I'll wait and see. You know, I kind of took a wait and see, and I was like, I was happy yeah. with that decision. Uh, mm-hmm. But then I was like, okay, is, you know, like Stormblood, like okay, nah, whatever. Um, but <laughs> this, like, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do. Like, they didn't even said what's in it. Like, yeah. and I'm, I'm already like, <laughs> okay, I'm like, I think I'm, I think this is gonna be it. Like, just that box art alone, I was like. It's so beautiful. I'm such a this yeah. this collector's edition presumably might have the figure of the Dark Knight, right? Yeah, and it's maybe. making me go, "Boy, uh, I no. wish I had that matching Xenos no. figure now." They, they couldn't. They couldn't. Uh, they they can't do yeah. a job. Is my like thought right? Because I yeah. mean, yeah. it seems a little weird. I mean, could be fan I don't, I don't It could be. That. It could be cool, but I think I think the issue is if you do a job. 
then you're mm-hmm. gonna have all the other people that main a different job be like, what the hell? Like, where's our statue? You know, if they're making a profit, like, why the heck not? They can get over it. <laughs> to, I think to have I, the two, to have the two, to be able to set up somewhere, mm-hmm, yeah. that, that just gets my uh, figure nerd going. You know, usually, yeah. usually it's it's a more story based element though. So I think for the figure, we'll either have. Um, I think Thancred. Yeah, maybe or Thancred would be Shadow cool. Hunter. Uh yeah, mm. I'm yeah, I am Shadow all Hunter. in for a Gaius figure in <laughs> the <laughs> Hunter's edition. Wait, wait. Allegedly. Shadow Hunter? Shadow Hunter. It's Gaius. It's Shadow. Gaius. We all know we it's all know. Gaius. Um so let's let's go through this trailer real quick. Uh we're not gonna mm. play the trailer, but we do have a gallery of images that we're gonna be showing for it. Um I uh, was freaking tra- out when this trailer showed up because the mm-hmm. first shot we see not only is it just the Warrior of Light, it's like the 1.0 CG yeah. Warrior of Light with that armor <laughs> as the, the archer, and um, I lost it. Hmm. I felt Fusion, so connected. Fusion, wife, and I looked at each other. We're like, Bard expansion? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other question, right? 1.0 was never Bard. You're like, what's what's the highlight job in the trailer? Yeah. You know, there's always It's something. not Bard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The uh, no, but, but that that connection that I immediately yeah. felt connected because one of the things I think that made 2.0 and even 3.0 so more impactful for me is the connection to the whole game. Where mm-hmm. Stormblood, I was like, we, Fusion and I looked at each other and we're like, Dancer, you know, like is yeah. the one that opened oh, up. That I was, was like, so pissed about. That. <laughs> yeah, but it's like with this, like I was like, holy crap! It's the one point. Like it's they're they're doing that that full callback to the Mm -hmm. overall because especially when you hear the five-year anniversary there's a part of me that just like it's not five years guys (laughs) look we've been here for a while (laughs) um you know so it's that uh i felt really i felt kind of in a way like validated and respected for that that journey that we've all been on Mm -hmm. uh, with the ups and downs and then you had then then it went into that and i was like oh that was and he looks so tired like it was it was i think i would say he should he yeah, really. Should. Do you know how many hard. fetch quests that man has had to do since he came back out of the? Where's my soup? <laughs> Where is it? Um, the, uh, but I, I honestly say I think that was the, the the most amazing directed trailer. The audio, like everything about that, there was just mm-hmm. so much. It was that a I different. Really... It was a different take on stuff. And yeah. and while I think, uh, Heaven's Word, both the the teaser and the actual song Heaven's Word, not Dragon Song. I want to yeah. be very clear. Not I mean, Dragon. I'm not a fan of Dragon Song. Heaven's yeah. Word, that <laughs> teaser. The trailer, one that goes that's... Heaven's Word. Yeah, yes. I, like it's there's as awesome as this trailer was. As much as I freaked out about like the <laughs> original CG armor, like sitting there at the first fan fest, seeing the gates of judgment kind of come in through the snow. Like yeah. I don't know if anything's ever gonna top that for me personally. Mm-hmm. And then having this all the is the first and stuff. one that I've seen in person the first time. <laughs> yeah. Third time's a charm, you guys. Yes, yeah, she did it. <laughs> so what do you think uh, then what do you think michelle this is like so like fusion and i we've been we, you know we've pretty much been there together like for mm-hmm. the, the other ones um so yours take the you've been there but you finally made it um what was your take uh, i mean i was sitting on the floor so i had yeah. an even lower vantage than everybody else and i'm i'm <laughs> or i'm just you're already short Yes. And I'm sitting on the floor because all of the seats are taken. And I'm just like, you know what? I want to be up in the front. I'm not going to get in anybody's way if I'm sitting. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So I sat down and I'm just, I'm sure that I'm sitting there going, like basically (laughs) looking at the ceiling. Looking up, getting crane neck. (laughs) Yoshi P can see my tonsils. (laughs) All that good mess. Um, But so let's, uh, let's, I mean, I, 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 uh, I quite enjoyed actually being there big screen seeing it and i'm gonna try harder to do it next time <laughs> it's an experience it's an experience yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. so to clarify, I I've, I've been there the first two yeah. times i just no. didn't make it for various <laughs> reasons i think it was really surprising uh to see xenos right in the trailer um that's that's definitely not Was something it? i expected we, well we, you know one of my we, biggest gripes and i know i've said this a million times is stormblood came out and we had this villain that constantly beat us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he fused with Shinryu and he's like, oh, you got me. Yeah. What? So, like, technically he's still dead, but, like, we're still kind of fighting him. So, like, I appreciate yeah. that a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I appreciate more so that they're finally getting back to the Asian arc. <laughs> yes, very much so. It's, it's very been a while. 
Like, yeah. last, I think that was kind of like saw the from them. Like, they're like, "Hey, we found these dragon eyes at the bottom of this ravine. What do we? What should we do with them?" And that was it. Like um, that was. <laughs> we're all screaming, "Don't just throw them in the ravine! What's wrong with you?" Yeah, give that, give someone's going to find guy. them. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Uh, but, uh, the, yeah. So Xenos is in there, which is really cool. I think the other uh, really important thing too is um, we see Thancred. Um, yeah. All the other scions right now aren't doing too hot, uh, but we see Thancred. Mm-hmm. And it's one of these things you have to look very closely at the trailer because anybody that's played the game will be like, oh, he's got like that one machinist gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not the machinist gun, though. No. <laughs> uh, this is actually the new class. Uh, and so obviously it's a Let gun blade class. Yeah. Uh, we were like, where's yes. the job? And they're so like, this, did this... you watch the trailer? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually, I, I was sitting next to uh, one of the PR uh, representatives uh, during the keynote. And so he's like, look really closely right here. <laughs> so yes, what no, uh, like whatever today? whatever Thancred is in this trailer, mm-hmm. that is the new There trailer. it is, there's the picture. Now I'm yeah. So yeah. we will we will be getting some kind of a Gunblade class. Um, unfortunately, probably to answer the other one, if the leaks are right. Unfortunately. Which have. Well, I, I mean this as like it's been leaked already. Right, right? yeah, it has been. Uh, it'd be yeah. awesome to get to answer, but you know, le- the leaks have been proven true so far. Um, that's really so, unfortunate like i mean just yeah, like yeah. on the quickest side and the thing is is that from the development team and how hard they work the the gift that we give them is the sh- the, the sheer shock and surprise and awe Exciting, and a lot yeah. of that came out and it's like i'm mm. excited but then yeah it's like i i, I know that's yeah, got to yeah. be painful i don't know it's kind of like you're excited at the leap because but you're kind of like reservedly excited yeah. and then when it's confirmed you're like yes well, you know i think i think part of it right upgrade. like after after that stormblood trailer ride and we're like i don't know like that could be a dark night that could be something else we don't know like we're not yeah. falling for that again you know like, hmm, um, we're gonna wait. well because like never with a great job. sword i don't you know um, they never did a job reveal and then they did in stormblood because it's like oh and in, in heaven's word it was all like what are our jobs right and right. then you know it's like okay cool 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 but yeah, yeah, that's where it's like, well, it could be, and it, would they? And I think that's what you said, Fusion. We were like, would they reveal like a new job? Like, <laughs> I mean, and we and we could speculate all day. I think that the big question right now is, is it two DPS again, or is it tank healer? Yeah, um, I think it's fine. It's two DPS. I, I honestly think the problem know. isn't. I would tank. love, Go I would ahead. love anything with a gunblade to be DPS. But I'm also yeah. after Stormblood. I'm okay if it is a tank healer combo. Sure. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Absolutely, as long as it brings new gameplay elements that are fun and engaging. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, this dancer or yeah. this gunblade feels just like this same. Like if it feels just like a Dark Knight, you know, or just yeah. like. And then it's right. like, uh, the problem. I, you know, I, I've, I've said it. I keep iterating it. It's like if XP did not lose its value, you would probably have a problem with tanking and healing being in the queues because you literally I give me no reason to do that. Because I'm chasing XP, but that's just I mean, me. At, like at that's the end my of the day, Square experience. Enix has seen the Q numbers, and we haven't. So yeah. it may feel like it's a little one-sided after Stormblood with the DPS mm-hmm. queues, but maybe it's not as as bad as we think. Who knows? I mean, and, yeah. and you always are going to have that mm-hmm. uh, that job influx too. After I think yeah. those uh, those things that you could trade in for uh, materia helped a lot for a time. It- it sure, does for a time, it, like it has, like it has an expiration. It's like, yeah. like in the content that's wrapped around XP also then expire. It's like that's where I was like, yeah. I mean, it, it's, I would still be once taking, that expansion yeah. hits. There's there's the the bonus stuff from the roulette, and then there's the yeah. you know whatever upgrade items from the hunts. Mm-hmm. And it's like for those that first couple of months right there, like everyone's like, yeah, we gotta like grind and and get everything right now. But I'm yep. just like. It'll, it'll work itself out in time. It will. It will. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they introduced two new DP, like DPS classes, right? If Dancer is a DPS and, you know, uh, Gunblade is DPS. The thing is, is that it will work itself out. And the reason we know this is that there's actually, if you count Blue Mage, uh, there's 18 jobs that come in uh, Shadowbringers. And the fact is, is that all 18 jobs are getting reworked, rebalanced. You still have to re-level those up. Yeah. It's not yeah. like, you know, it's like, it's still a lot of work. And that's where... I'm really interested in the limited system. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we will. Blue Mage is a little towards the end. There's, we'll have a lot of thoughts on Blue Mage. <laughs> yes. Um, we're going to go through uh, the rest of the keynote, though, uh, some of the stuff that we saw. Uh, one of the new areas that we got to take a look at uh, is the Raktika Greatwood. <clears throat> um, what a significant least, name you have just said. Huh. Sounds like right. Gridanian. It's, hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a wooded area. It looks pretty great. Mm-hmm. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know if this, if we're, you know, where this is going to be. Obviously, we're going to be going a little bit towards uh, Ilsa Bard here with the expansion. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. We assume. Thavnir. <laughs> Thavnir? Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm hoping for Thavnir, but. <laughs> yeah. It'd be I feel awesome. like if, if, if anything, Thavnir it'll be like, the map here's a small now. island. They invented Blitzball, and that's Thavnir. <laughs> like, it's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> um, also, too, we have uh, another area, Am um, Arang, uh, which mm -hmm. looks really cool. Um, I thought you were saying uh, um. Um, Arang? Um, Arang? <laughs> Arangadang? Sounds very uh, dragon. Yeah, this this shot was interesting, yeah. too. Sure does. Uh, it's going to go by real quick, but um, <clears throat> in the keynote, they, they made a mention that uh, it looks like it's a tilted shot, but it's actually the city mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. been tilted, so... Um, Obviously now, right for all you lore mongers out there, why is the city tilted? Right, um, sinking. Is it just is it just old? Is it because uh, down, of whatever the newest calamity is? We see some <laughs> crazy, crystally things. Yeah, um, they pulled some dirt out of the dirt and it fell in. And by dirt out of the dirt, I mean Azizlaf. <laughs> every every image that <laughs> right. goes really kind of feels like it's leaning more into that Final Fantasy fantasy, right? Right. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, like this is really quite exciting because these are screenshots of in game and the art itself is yeah. beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. the artwork, there is, is some artwork as well. Um, I th believe that is up on our website or or should be. At some point, I'm going to do a big giant Stormblood or I'm doing it already. <laughs> Shadowbringers. Uh, SB2. Uh, oh, that's me too. Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, the, uh, the art assets were huge and they couldn't really be scaled down easily for to use here. Um, we are going to also be getting a new beast tribe. We're getting the Nomu. Uh, yes. If you've ever played Tactics, no. mm -hmm. you will recognize them. Um, also interesting, too, oh. um, they said that they will be adding pixies and dwarves with this expansion as well. Who's calling the relic quest being related to the dwarves? Yeah. I hope I so. Mean, how many... Maybe? How many main series games have we gone without dwarves? Like a while. Yeah, yeah I, it's been like didn't they, were they were in three. They were in four. <laughs> I yeah. remember them in three. Yeah, they were. Uh, they were in six. They were. Were they in nine? I don't remember. That might be the last one, if, if nothing else. But it's nine kind of leaning time. into the classic. So it's been a long yeah. time to play nine. And so, with the fact that it's getting re like coming out for the Switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be a perfect time for me to go and refresh my <laughs> there. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's been says dwarves season. weren't in six. Okay. Oh, they, they were. They were in four. No, that's right. They were in yeah, four. Definitely four. four. Yeah. yeah. So it's been it's been a few. <laughs> yeah. How about nine has? Can we get a can we get a check? Can we get a we check? monkey people in nine? I don't know. Probably four. Okay. okay. Boom. Yeah, I think four might be the last one. Uh, we are also getting a new race. Um, this will likely be the last new race that they add. Because Don't trust hard. them. It's like, hard honestly. to add another race. Well, it's hard. You know, it's it's <laughs> oh, when they announce. I never Blue said it was Mage. impossible. Right. When they announce Blue That's Mage, true. You know, that happens they, a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You should you should have made the comment. He's like, uh, you know, yes people were nine. talking about Ninja, right. and they're mm -hmm. like, it's really hard to add a job into a patch like this. But I never said we wouldn't do it again. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't know what else they would add. I mean, obviously, we have uh, the uh, the Lupin now uh, after yeah. Stormblood. They're just like, let's make a wolf race and just throw it in here. And people mm -hmm. are like, what? Like, where did this come from? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, we will be getting a hint, they said, during 4.5. Uh, it's pretty mm -hmm. much teasing confirmed that Fran is going to be in Return of Evil East. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it'll probably be Viera. So. Yeah, I think that, the shirt, I'm really the about shirt that. he was wearing was, was a, a racing bug. shirt. Yeah, it was a Bugs Bunny shirt. The racing, racing. part is irrelevant. The sure, best. It's a race. <laughs> yes, it's a race. The, uh, that was I think a happy coincidence. They're like, I, I think, we need a bunny shirt. Think, what can we find? I, it was interesting because like from where we were sitting, at least I, I was like, oh, he's got a Bugs Bunny. Oh, Viera. Like that was all before people were like mm -hmm. like people. I guess you know, especially couldn't see it. They were keeping the camera back, but I was like, I don't know. I've got Hawkeye. So well, it's little pocket. Oh, we're gonna be all that perfect. We're gonna be Viera, and I was like, that that actually leads to what we'll talk about later in the show. So yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, Nine dungeons at launch. Mm -hmm. uh, How many of those are leveling? Like, if it's just two at the uh, scavenger, I mean, probably, probably <laughs> seven okay. to eight. Yeah, I mean, on, honestly, seven to eight. 
That's we got to we got to get away from that. That's just going <laughs> to I don't mind it. I like it. The I two, like the two on repeat. The dungeons. I, I, meh, I don't mind it so much. I like using the dungeons to level. I think it adds to the story. Uh, I oh, like yeah. having oh, yeah. uh yeah, the variety, and I love having the different kinds of gear. So. I think I think the problem is is we want them to switch things up, and it's sure. not that they haven't been doing that. It's just that they haven't been doing that with the content we want them to do it with. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I would just like I would just I would literally, if I had the money, would like happily donate like enough money so that all those leveling dungeons you could do at level cap. You know, just like and let it yeah. be at level cap, just so that it's like just some variety in, sure. in, the, in the in the in the in the 80 grind you know just I mean, so it's like i how many two it just like every no matter what like they mm-hmm. they release like a beautiful dungeon and after two or three weeks you're like i never want to see it for a year you know and I'm like i wish we could kind of get away from that just a how little many did we have in stormblood didn't we have 61 63 65 67 and 69 so we're gonna easily that's we're gonna easily right. see this jump into the the low 80s high nine i mean high 80s yeah. low 90s like that's well yeah insane. but i'm just saying that's only five leveling dungeons if they do what they did before. So the other four are because oh well, these are MS- not MSQ final MSQ I mean, dungeon. Yeah, sure, that's one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe another MSQ dungeon in there somewhere. Yeah. I mean, and then mm-hmm. you, know I, you know, it's I don't really mind the two. Like thinking about it, I don't mind the mm-hmm. two because uh, it gives you less to dread. Does that sound terrible? Instead of, yeah, true. Instead of you don't like, have to sit here and like I need to have this memorized and this memorized. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and you know more, the other to benefit me, too. Um, yeah. To me, it's more the is... uh, the when you queue up, you get one or the other. If you uh, get the one you hate, eh, you you don't you missed out on one. If you get the one you hate, you missed out on two. Oh, there could have been two others, and I totally got screwed. It's just like, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. Well, but, you know, we were talking about yeah. about queues and and with the, the new jobs and stuff earlier. Mm-hmm. That's not actually. It occurred to me that's not going to matter now because we'll have the trust system. Yes, yeah. trust, trust, we'll, we'll trust, get to that in, in just a minute. Yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of this is is like it's stuff from like the Stormblood keynote. You know, nine dungeons at launch, a new high end raid that will have a very Final Fantasy feel cool. to it. New alliance raids, um, checkbox time compression. Right? Yeah, box. exactly. <laughs> uh, new gear and recipes. Um, we we have getting... to have eight stuff, right? We're getting gun blades. Yeah, new high end raid, time compression. Calling it now. <laughs> oh, don't do this to me. I know. <laughs> don't do this to me. Like, oh, there's so many. That would so fit. Many. That would fit. I know. With with the rejoining and the. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm not just pulling this stuff out of my ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my I just want to see. I want to see Hyperion. I want to put that in my hand. I want mm. that gun blade. Give me Please. that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. One day. Um. So yes. Um. Endgame for Disciples of the Hand and Land. We're going to be restoring the Holy See of Ishgard, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, it goes people always hate that. on me when I talk about how the Domain Enclave is like one of my favorite things with Stormblood. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm like, this is awesome. Like, like you get to like help them build the town and you can watch how they make paper. And I think that is fascinating. <laughs> like, it, it sounds like a complete paper. jab at it the draws system. You but I think it's the world. awesome. It draws yeah, you into the world. And what they've announced, where they're saying that this end game content will lead to the restoring of like you can live in Ishkar, you know. Perhaps. Well, so so they kind of hinted at that maybe mm-hmm. that's coming. So what they said, yeah, yeah. Uh, they announced that this would be coming. Uh, you'd be working to restore Ishkar. Um, they say, you know, players keep saying, "Oh, I want to see Emmerich again. I want to go back to Ishkar. I want to live in Ishkar." But if you want to do that, the crafters and gatherers have to unite and restore mm-hmm. Ishkar first. Right. So. Maybe this, at some point we'll get housing. Right, but this is the kind of the thing. Like at some point, let's like let's just we'll go off the assumption that at some point it's coming. Yeah. yeah. This in and of itself makes me feel more connected to everybody on the server, right? Sure. So where uh, you know, for I guess lack of a better comparison, conquest made me feel connected to my city in eleven. Right. Where even though mm-hmm. I'm you know it's passive content we're participating, this makes me. A interested in in doing end game uh, gathering and crafting, which I've always just leveled my crafters, crafter, crafters, <laughs> crafters, crafters, and levels just for the repair. Like I've right. always just kept them in repair <laughs> distance. Um, with uh, with this it makes me interested, but also that it makes me feel that all of the crafters and gatherers, kind of like with Hamlet, kind of you know, I guess Hamlet would be a yeah, more Ham, comparison. Yeah, defense, but yeah. it's a, it makes us feel like as a server, as a world, mm-hmm. we're doing something together. We're feeling a meter 
together. You know, right. that's that's what I that's what I allude from this. Right. And it makes me excited. To me, it seems kind of similar to the uh, the Excel dailies, except mm -hmm. sure. we yeah. actually care about. It's yeah. a it's a more involved <laughs> grander scale dome and enclave people. is what, what it is. It's they're what? kind of yeah. mixing that Excel stuff them. with the dome and enclave, making people mm -hmm. try and care about it a little bit more. Because I think right. that's the problem is with the dome and enclave. It was this really cool content. It was really <laughs> unique, um, but there really isn't a reason to do it. Right. Yeah. Um, which so we seems know really yet. All bad. of a sudden, make the enclave so important. All of a sudden, new raid world at narrative. The, the enclave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap! I should have been doing that the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't done well, the the main reason to do Dome and Enclave is you get a couple of items for crafting. You get mm -hmm. pets, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and you get some furniture from yeah. a uh, an NPC. There's a vendor that pops up. Yeah. 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 It's really pretty. It. But, I, but I, the I other reason is fusion Dome and Enclave. Yeah. yeah, the place is beautiful once you finish it. Yeah, I feel and like they, you get some really interesting domain lore. Right, I feel that they oh, had yes. to do this in-game thing though, because otherwise, crafting and gatherers would be like scripts again forever. Yeah. Cool, I guess. Yeah, it's I like, hate it's scripts like so much. Yeah, the way the way I kind of envision this is they're taking essentially like the, the Ixali yeah. Beast trap yeah. stuff, mixing it with Domain Enclave, mm -hmm. but then probably having it last the entire <laughs> expansion. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and that so in three actually, years, so you can have an Ishgard. You know what? It does make me so, really sad yeah. to, go, to go to Ishgard and see that it's still in ruins. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. It's still screwed up. They're All working the on it. They poor got a lot peasants of in the broom, still screwed <laughs> over by the Dragon War, yeah. which was finished, and now we're friends with dragons. Mm -hmm. Fix yeah. their town. Fix yeah, the but town. don't change the music. Don't touch the music. No. Even look. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this is unless, just, this... unless you want to add 1.0 Corthus music in. Okay. Then touch Why not? the music. Yeah. The question is, is that, like, you know, I'm really excited to see what this system is because, honestly, this actually has me excited yeah. For, yeah. The, for, like, to learn more. Like, I was like, this is awesome. And it ties into something that I've kind of, like, looked at the game. I was like, I wish they would start to join these systems they've, they've been building. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at all these things, like... That the only we'll get to the trust here a little bit, but the concern with there is like we have squadrons, we have our chocobo, and we have trust. Like, are those all just three separate systems or not? Mm -hmm. And with crafting, oh, crafting, I keep messing that up. Uh, but with the domain enclave, with the fact that each patch, like in the past, like we would restore a city, but now actually making that a part of the player base, mm -hmm. I think I think it's like yeah, they're ready for that. It makes sense at this time, and I'm really interested in checking that out. Right. Yeah, that should be really cool. Um, also, yes, Fishers will have content to do. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to tie into Ishgard necessarily, but Fishers, you'll have something. Don't worry. Just um, hammer the nails with the fish. You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> I was thinking it uh, you, you cast the line and then you set up like a lever pulley system to pull the, the bricks up. <laughs> Can you can you just imagine yeah. you like you like help rebuild like the the broom area you know help rebuild the the bar area a little bit? Mm -hmm. Why does everything smell like fish? Well, we didn't have a hammer, and Phil <laughs> wanted to help, but he's just a fisher. Hammerhead so. shark. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad about that one. I'm sorry. You should. That was terrible. <laughs> I mean, we have flying fish. You know, we need to like you were talking about lifting bricks. Like feed just, the workers. Yeah. Have oh, the fishermen true. do that. And well, fishing and, and, yeah. and culinarian. You know, I was like, yeah. yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they also uh, talked about the idea of user controlled farms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which. Uh, Not the new job. The new job isn't farmer. They were clear nope. to, uh, <laughs> to point <laughs> that out. Um, yeah. I don't. User controlled farms. I don't know yeah. if, if this would be Just, a separate area. I think it's probably housing. their solution to um, the gardens that you can't yeah. get if you don't have a house. Yeah. Yep. It's like Which, an expansion. Yeah. I'm glad they were listening because some people are real mad about that. Right. It's just it's yeah. a phased instance somewhere where everybody it's a community garden. <laughs> it reminds me of Mist of I know I shouldn't say wow things, but Mist of Pandaria, you had a farm. <laughs> like it was an instance farm that you could do, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. And it's it just you grew stuff and you took it. That's whatever. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Easy enough. Yeah. Um All right, then they announced the trust system. Um and like as soon as I saw the word trust appear on the screen, I'm like, yeah. your game ain't dying yet. What are you doing? <laughs> um, so I was for like, those oh, you... Brian's happy right now. I am yeah, very for, for those not familiar with trust. it, uh, Final Fantasy XI introduced this uh, years ago. Um, it's essentially um, a way to call NPCs as companions to basically fail your party when you don't have anyone else to play with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so as soon as I heard this for 14, I was like, but you There's don't people. need it. 
<laughs> I don't. I, don't I, I see. Um, I disagree. I disagree that they. That well, I'm not. They, I'm, they well, even the way while. they explained it, I'm not against it. But initially, I was like, "Oh no." Um, so the the idea <laughs> here is that we're going to be able to this other these, system. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's it's basically they're they're kind of taking squadrons, but like putting it with like NPCs you actually care about. Yeah. And so you, doing this, you can actually do uh, new relevant dungeons um, and go through all of the 5.0 dungeons, and you can solo them. Um, which I think is great because mm-hmm. I think a lot of the problems that um, some people had, you know, again, going back to queues, once an expansion hits, everyone's playing the new jobs. And so you're always stuck waiting for a tank or a dealer or something like that. But now you can just queue up solo, pull out, you know, Yishtola and Alphino or, you know, whoever they give us mm-hmm. um, and just solo stuff, which I think is, I think it'll be, it'll be a nice wait for, for, mm-hmm. for those people that, yes, this is an MMO but maybe they just want to jump in, um, level through something. Maybe you can sure. use this as a way to. Um, maybe it's five a.m. Yeah, maybe it's five a.m. Maybe this is a way you can like pre-form a party and do old dungeons as Blue Mage. Yeah. yeah. So there's some value there. Here's the thing that I want to mm-hmm. see it evolve to, though, is that I, I want it to be more than just just dungeons. Because one of the yeah. things that our common complaint, and we, com- we it's usually asked, it would have been asked this year by me if I if, if we didn't have so many like, other questions that I wasn't happy with. But uh, talking about the open world, and it's that yeah. mathematically and game design wise, if they balance the open world for single player, you know, like a white mage can clear it, a black mage can clear it, a tank can clear it. Like you don't, you know, you don't need friends to go from point A to point B in the game. Uh, it might be somewhat of a challenge at first, but obviously right now you can go walk around. I can walk around any zone and nothing can kill me. Um, yeah. But if they design the game kind of with multiplayer in mind, the mm-hmm. open world, they could, in theory, we could look at better uh, fates. We could look at tougher monsters in the open sure. world. And the answer to that is play with friends or bring out your trusts. So we're not punishing people who don't have a friend to go through the story with. Mm-hmm. We are balancing it around we were assuming there was going to be a tank healer and DPSs. Mm -hmm. And the only way you do that in a modern game is with the trust system. And so with the trust, if it's only for the dungeons, it's, that's just going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sad about it. Not disappointed. (laughs) Well, and so yeah, yeah, call out your trust, call your chocobo, Mm -hmm. but you've got mathematically, I can see, well, from a fate, like, you know, you look at Eureka and I look at Eureka go, I want every zone like this. Like, I don't I just, look at Eureka. It's a beautiful design zone, <laughs> but mathematically they've designed it around yeah. multiplayer. And so the game, the open world we have is designed around single player and trust can, I think, help bridge the gap there. Yeah. That's my hope. There's no word that if it's going to be in the open world, if it's only for dungeons, then it just solves, yeah. it just solves that problem. And I, and for me, I'm like, Oh gosh, I want to, it'd be so cool to be out there. Cause going to the 11 reference trust, I don't I actually play with trust that much in 11, Trust remove my downtime in eleven. Sure. Meaning like, oh, my friend's online. Well, now I just kick. I kick out a bot, and the bot doesn't cry about it. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. Alpha. No. Yeah. So, I was like, see you, dude. <laughs> I have a I have a conspiracy theory theory. Okay. If you're ready. Ooh, I'm okay. ready. I'm born. So ready. the NPCs that they announced are Alpha No, Alise, mm-hmm. Cred, Stola, and uh, Yuan Jay. Mm-hmm. Now, what if you're a DPS and you're trying to do a dungeon? Mm-hmm. Well, you need a tank, don't you? Mm-hmm. No one there is a tank. Hmm. Well, so so here's something I I think we we should make sure we know too. They never they confirmed never said that these were going to be yeah, the sure. NPCs that you can use. This was just sure. on the slide, and they they did talk about this too. And they asked, yeah. you know, who would you want to see, and mm-hmm. um, you know, Emmerich, Harshafon, Asidian, yeah, you know, of course, all the Heaven's Word <laughs> NPCs. Tesco's Alphano's Carbuncle. <laughs> yeah. Just not Alphano, just the Carbuncle. Exactly. The Carbuncle. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm taking. But it's just interesting because those classes, or at least the jobs of those people, none of them are tanks. DPS, DPS, DP, tank. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's a conspiracy theory. I don't know. Thinker's nut squirrel is the uh, the tank. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) He just blocks everything with his little acorn. I just thought that would be an interesting, you know, kind of tell. If it does end up being true, you can uh, credit me. Harshafon had a shield. I don't know if I trust him to tank, but he had <laughs> no, a shield. Not ever. He needs to. Maybe maybe that needs to be. Oh repaired. my gosh, we'll Hildebrand. Hildebrand. Is, oh my goodness. Fusion oh, would God. have a shit fit. A good. <laughs> yeah. It'd be so great. You'd never play with people after that. 
I mean, I usually play with people now. So. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, they also announced, and this is another kind of a weird thing, yeah. New Game Plus. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, what? Um, so essentially, this is going to let you replay uh, MSQs and job quests. So the the takeaway that I get from this is um, a couple of years back, there was um, a lot of people asking to be able to go and replay um, phased fights during the MSQ, you know, fighting mm-hmm. Van Hydras and stuff like that. Um, but there's no easy way system side to do that. So instead of them going through the list and saying, okay, there was a fight here, there was a fight here, making a whole new system or a, a you know some other tab in the duty thing so you could go and just do those separately by yourself, they're just like, just go back and redo all of them. Like, just yeah. take all the stuff, just take your completion flag okay. off of it, and you just go do it all again if you really want to. Now, I, I, I'm under the impression that they said that you can also play with your friend like or friends with this system. Is that, Did I mishear that when they were out there talking about it? I don't know. Okay. I don't remember. recall that they they did specifically say so. that you can redo all of these as your current leveled character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I don't know if you can go back and do it with people or not. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe they're going to do some tweaking so that you can also use trusts for some of that older content yeah. as well. That'd be neat. Or blue mage. Um, <clears throat> or blue yeah. mage. Or- <laughs> oh, God. Could you imagine? Oh, hey, you want to, like, learn this one thing? <sighs> From from Van Hydras. Well, you can only fight him once, and it's in this one instance fight. Good luck. And to get there, you gotta replay. And, and if you don't learn it, two point and three yeah. point. Oh my! Could you imagine? That'd be. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Mr. Atmos just sitting there. He's like, yes. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm really weirded out by New Game Plus, and yeah. it's just because we don't have enough information. Yeah about how it's going to function it's a i love it in offline rpgs like in the the main game sure, yeah 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 i'm just, just not going to be any benefit to doing any of this again yeah not immediately it's just I, I it's for it it's for people that maybe are bringing a friend in that can mm-hmm. if, if if you can replay with people mm-hmm. that's the only reason otherwise like <laughs> I, I ain't redoing any of that another scenario though another scenario because we talked about i was talking about this um you know with a couple of people was talking about jump potions uh, before jump potions, after jump potions, um, I play them with friends, and they they just sprint to get caught up. They skip all the story; they have no context of what's happening, or they jump potion, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they're like, "Well, this isn't seems like an interesting story. What's going on?" But mm-hmm. now I'm at level cap. Now that I'm actually current and I can do this current content, maybe I just you know go and actually play the story now, figure out, not feeling happens. like I have to rush, 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 and that yeah, maybe. Well, or yeah, you yeah. visit Gamerscape, where we have so many logs of what actually goes true. on. In the yeah, true. <laughs> there go. Self-plug, Gamerscape.com. Plug. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the wiki. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it could be, you know, maybe there's also a, a benefit there. Than yeah. Something I'm not thinking of, because I played through the story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other big thing that they announced, mm. um, World Visiting. Yeah. Um, so this is actually going to be coming out before the expansion. Thank um, goodness. They want to, which they is want to so work out all the kinks before the expansion. The yeah. Which is super smart of them to do. Um, <laughs> players will be able to travel to other worlds on the same data center. So they're <clears throat> kind of re- rewording stuff. So the world that you're on right now, that's your home world. Mm-hmm. And using the Aetherites in the city states, you'll be able to click on those and say, I want to go to a destination world. So if you're on primal for example like i'm on hyperion i could go to leviathan and just like chill in the open world with people do maps not some other stuff but like i can just i can hang out there for as long as i want logging out won't kick me back to hyperion if i dc it won't kick me back to hyperion i could almost live on that other world if Mm -hmm. i wanted to with the exception of not being able to buy housing i can't actually (laughs) live live but you will you uh, like you will like it's going like this is step there. a <clears throat> and uh yeah. the market thing is brilliant the market thing in which that you cannot sell but you can only buy yeah is we should talk genius. about all those restrictions <laughs> yeah. it's genius i in my opinion if we want to talk about it oh. <laughs> um, so the restrictions for this mm-hmm. um retainers can't be hired or summoned mm-hmm. because of that items can't be listed on the market board Right. Estate plots can't be purchased. Uh, mm-hmm. Most free company features will not be available. Um, yeah. So actions is the big one. Uh, you'll still be able to access your FC chat. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, link shells will not be available. They're planning to address this later. You still do have your cross world link shell that you can use. Yes. Um, eternal bonding ceremonies cannot be scheduled or attended. The reaction from the crowd oh, when yeah. they said this it's was the like, attended is that I that's think that's like yeah. the yeah. one thing we would want to do. Um, they are working on this, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll have that fixed at some point. Um, mm-hmm. Moogle delivery can't be accessed, so if you want to like redeem item codes or something, you're not going to get those while you're on another yeah. world. Yeah, go home, go to your house. <laughs> yeah. uh, unspoiled and legendary gathering points can't be utilized because, yeah, you know, reasons. <laughs> um, Jumbo Cactpot tickets cannot be purchased. Uh, no. Lord of Verminion and Triple Tri tournaments cannot be entered. Sure. Um, so it's pretty standard fare. Like that's yeah. not surprising. You can buy mm-hmm. off other world boards though. So mm-hmm. a lot of people are like, "Whoa, yeah, oh my god." <laughs> well, you know why you can buy? <laughs> oh, they're they're going to normalize the economy. It's normalizing yeah, across the, the entire across data the center, center now, so that they can then do the retainer. So that then don't do- mess up my golden server. <laughs> Uh, well, you're going over to Crystal, so yeah, whatever not... with you. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like it, it to, because they're going to get to the kind of the shared economy. The only way you can do that without like really hurting the economy is just to let people make money and take advantage of, of that buying and selling. And you know, you can only purchase, so that means you're infusing one economy with Gil. You're taking your product and you're going to go make some yeah. back on your home world. I'm one of those people that will actually port to a different city if uh, something is cheaper in the different city. Mm-hmm. It's going to be bad for me if I can tell that something is cheaper on a different server I can get to. And there are tools already. To the API yeah. has actually yeah. been opened up. So there are some yeah. tools that people like myself yeah. are working on uh, in that regard. Oh. Yeah. I see. So, um, so because of this, um, they're doing some... Playing around with the data centers a little bit. Um, so for North America and Europe, we're going to be getting two, uh, one new uh, data center in each. So North America will get Crystal, and uh, Europe will get Light. Mm-hmm. Um, so because of this, <clears throat> they have decided to shuffle the data centers around a little bit, or the worlds yeah. on each data center. Um, so Balmung got moved. That was that was a thing that happened, and they even kind of mm-hmm. hinted at this too yeah, in the I mean, in the keynote. It had to like, happen. Yeah, if you did not like talking this. about <laughs> about the visiting thing, so maybe you can go to like another world to do your MSQ stuff, Balmung. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then later they, you know, Balmung was moved, and everyone's like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Well, they kind of said that it was yeah, going to yeah. happen." Yeah. Um, one uh, question that came up that I, that hasn't been answered that we'll hopefully maybe be able to get clarified is that because that you can go and transfer or world visit and you log back into that world, someone was wondering if you log in and there's a huge queue for your world, could you then at that time also then world transfer as opposed to only doing it in game? I mean, I was like, you probably only do it in game. Yeah. It's probably yeah, going to start so. as in game, but I was just like, that's, that that's, that's going to mess with stuff even more. If yeah. you can do it from the login. Yeah, screen. Cause they said you had to go to the Aetherite in one of the mm-hmm. main cities. Right. Uh, yeah. From, from a yeah. system for standpoint, now. especially yeah. when Shadowbringers yeah. hits, that would be horrible. Oh, if they let you God, yeah. the login screen. They're trying to find the quickest queue in. <laughs> yeah. That would, there oh wasn't, I, I thought I, obviously I haven't, uh, seen every opinion everywhere. I didn't think there was a whole lot of pushback, even with the shuffle. So that's good. And I think it's partially, at least in the yeah. case of Belma, because they pay attention to what people are transferring between where. And they yeah. transfer. a lot mm-hmm. of the servers uh, where people are transferring to Belma with Belma. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to do that anymore. So yeah. one of I'm the actually, things. So oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to catch you. I was just going to say um, shout out to A Realm Reborn, the stage company. Uh, yeah. they're on Diablos, as far as I know, and they transferred them over with Balmung. So yeah. I'm excited to be able to go visit them yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. So, so, so yeah. on that like note, though, is that would we see, because Balmung's the unofficial official RP server, Yeah, would we see actually that uh, Crystal is the unofficial RP, you know, data, data center, center, as opposed Good. to then it's like, yeah, because you could... <laughs> Like it's it opens up a lot of possibilities for the mm-hmm. community. There mm-hmm. is the division, and they've and maybe one day we'll see more uh, matchmaking between the data centers. You know, they talk about yeah. that for PvP. Yeah, no word on that yet, but yeah. maybe there we'll is. start to see communities more around the data center than we will the individual specific yeah. server. You know what makes there me really sad downside, about this? <laughs> yeah, what? Go ahead, Charles. Oh, the downside is the rating community. And the people yes. who have cross. They're like, bye, Crystal. We're like, oh, yeah. No. They're like, they're like, well, yeah. if Balmung's going to go over there and Gilgamesh and other, you know, like 
more pop more Later. raid population because you know? gilgamesh wasn't already like hard to get into i right? know yeah. so you Everybody's know that's flock and the gilgamesh now difficult. yeah that's gonna be a little difficult but i think that it'll recover eventually it's just yeah. there's a lot of talk about people moving right now so I, I, yeah. I don't know the right now part though because it's free. Yeah, like I when it comes out, like do it later. Free, you get yeah. all. If you're, you're going to move, wait to move because yeah, exactly. they're going to be doing. Um, and and they talked about this as well. Mm -hmm. um, free world transfers for anybody in affected data centers. So yes. anybody, the people in... who are moving now are concerned about houses. <laughs> yeah, they want to get it yeah. right. Securing now. their house. That's, that's mm -hmm. the big thing. Um, yeah. is, is I was gonna say like if you're not interested in a house, buy one, buy an apartment because you're just they're just going to give you money. Yeah, give you money back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's well, money back thing. and furnishing that if you don't use on furnishing, free money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Brian, what server are you on again? I'm on Sargatanas. Yeah, I'm really sad about that. Yeah. We will no longer be on the same data center. Yeah, we no. never even got to do anything together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You There's, know, still but There's still time. There's still time. Although I have an alt on Cactar. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The um, That's not that big of a deal. Like, in the, I think in the grand scheme of things, because um, I think it's one of the things like, the, I think the community is beyond server in this regards. And that's sure. where the, you know, the data set, extra data center is going to make it a little bit more challenging mm -hmm. um, within the community. Cause right now it's like, Oh, you're on primal. Well, you know, we really can't play together like, you know, fusion. <laughs> but yeah. uh, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, well maybe now, like um, I'm hoping that we'll see with more of the data centers becoming the mm -hmm. server, like over the course, probably the next four years. Yeah. Um, and then essentially that maybe we'll start to see it to where, yeah, we're we're all one community, and you know you can make alts, and they've got jump potions for you. Uh, hey, we'll still be on each data center between the four of us. That's yeah, true. exactly. That's Represent good. all three data centers. Yeah, exactly. On the North American Eighth Red Radio. Not sure if good or bad. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, anybody, any, anyone that's affected by this stuff, they're going to give you uh, a two week period for free world transfers. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you're transferring through this um, kind of promotion or whatever you want to call it um maximum guild that can be retained all of it yeah <laughs> there are uh, people with more guild than that <laughs> oh, i don't, I don't understand know, i don't there. understand yeah. um, they can give it to me when they leave right yes. yeah um estate owners will be reimbursed 100 percent of the original purchase price <clears throat> of the plot that they have and given uh three mil as compensation for lost furnishings mm -hmm. um and apartment owners will be reimbursed the original price and be given five hundred thousand. Uh, as furniture compensation so yeah if you want to move like i would just wait yeah i mean you're gonna have to fight for those houses when you get there with everyone else yeah, that I mean, moves, but yeah but i mean at the same at the same time um because people will be moving away from it you know probably people will be moving out you'll have plots opening up um yeah. you'll still have an apartment if you you know you have to have something you know yeah Here's um, another. Here's another strength. And you don't lose money. Here's yeah. another strength, though, is that let's say you know they do this now and with World Visit and they open up a new server and there's benefits to go to that server, but there's also land plots and housing plots, meaning yeah. that I could say like let's say they because we we getting we, they know new servers, but EU is getting a server in each yeah. data center, um, mm -hmm. you know, so that's good. But let's say whenever like if the game keeps growing, keeps having the success that it's having, they open up a new server. People in Balmung like, that couldn't get a house could easily just go to the new server get a house yeah. and still be able to be a part and go play on Balmung if they want. You know, it's like you we're, we're starting to see some of the, the pain points that we've felt. Yeah. You know, start to erode mm -hmm. away slowly, but still. Yeah. Which is interesting. Well, and, and you know, some, some of these other servers too. I mean, you know that there are servers out there that aren't as populated as some of these other yeah. ones. And so roll the dice, go to one that you know isn't as populated. You know, mm -hmm. if you really want to be picky, make an alt and just go browsing see if there's any you know any opening somewhere and then pull the plug mm -hmm. if you really want to want to transfer and make sure you get a house but mm -hmm. yeah there you go shruggity shrug yeah all right uh <laughs> so that was it for everything out of the keynote with the exception mm -hmm. of blue mage but you will get into blue mage here towards <laughs> yes. the end it's got a lot of stuff it's a lot well, of still stuff like over. the one thing that on the keynote side of it and then i think we're all probably in agreement we got a job announcement at the north america fan fest yes yeah and and you know it's Thank it's funny goodness. because i was so happy about that mm -hmm. and then they're like this is the first limited job i'm like you uh -oh. son of a <laughs> <laughs> i i say it's the first unlimited job and everything else has been limited that's no that's <laughs> that's how I, too much, that's too much overhype overhype full friend here yes. yeah 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 right <laughs> 
Sovereign I mean, there's some Gecko people Kool-Aid, throwing that Brian. glass against the wall already. So I got my blue mage hat on. I actually don't have a blue shirt on, but the wall. They it's blue. <laughs> so uh, they also did a live letter out in mm-hmm. Vegas. Um, we it was part one for uh, patch four point five reveals. The second part of that uh, live letter is going to be uh, December twenty first at three a.m. Pacific. So oh. if you like to drink coffee, yeah, you can watch that live. Um, <laughs> patch four point five will be titled a Requiem for Heroes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be seeing part one in early January, and because it is a four point five patch, uh, it'll be split into part. Uh, two parts and part two will be in late March. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll have uh, oh, other, really quick know, interruption. Another... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember those of you listening that the uh, server shuffle, yeah, server shuffle and uh, possible transfers is not coming with Shadowbringers. It's prior so, to. Yeah, yeah. this is so all are, before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're watching the news but not currently subscribed, resubscribe so you can. Have that happen because you only get a two week yeah. chance. Yeah. Just if if I had to, it. if I had to guess, it's going to be closer to the expansion, yeah. but not closer to the actual patch updates. Mm-hmm. Keep your um, eye on the news, guys. So maybe yeah. maybe April ish. Yeah. April ish May is mm-hmm. probably where they would do this. If I had to, yeah. to take a, give it a, guess. a couple of months to settle afterwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, do it. Do it when people aren't trying to go through new content. It's like, all right, where oh, are we at goodness. with content? People are just trying to farm blue mage spells. Okay, great. Let's, Let's do, do it right this now. right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, so obviously, with patch four point five, uh, we are going to have new MSQ. Um, we have a couple screenshots for that. And of course, we get to see our our good old buddy that we uh, we saw in the last patch. I just, you know, I didn't I like Arden. Much. I didn't like Arden in fourteen or in fifteen. I don't like Arden in fourteen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is is my my thought, but uh, it is what it is at this point. Um, Good old grandpa ass you. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Um, we're going to be get the getting Why the uh, finale for an old man. If you if you didn't need, to <laughs> I actually right. I was tickled. They introduced a character and killed it immediately, and I was like, yes, that's so hello. Oh, it's so light. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Like what? I'll <laughs> never forget you, Moon Brita. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we'll have the finale for the Four Lords. <laughs> uh, we'll be getting Seer You with this patch. Um, yeah. And, and finding out the rest of this. Um, Dragon. Dragon. There will be or a dragons. new <laughs> MSQ dungeon. Uh, this actually looks really cool. This is the Gimlet yeah. Dark. Um, I feel like we've seen this before. Yeah, uh, maybe in some kind of recently revealed expansion trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe so. Yeah, yeah, really interested to see uh, what this is, where it is, mm-hmm. um, and everything that's that's happened in there. Mm-hmm. Um, we will also be getting the last bit for Return to Evilise, uh, which will take us to the Orbone Monastery uh, that we have a little bit of artwork for. I'm um, containing myself. <laughs> I can tell. I sound so excited. But it's containing. I'm containing. I can't. Myself. I can't wait. No, no, I'm Return serious. It's gonna be I so loved, good, guys. I love tactics so, so much good. that just mm-hmm. tell me. Just put that name on something. I'll go there. I don't care. <laughs> I'll, <be> there. <laughs> I'll move in. So I just yeah. bought a house, guys. Just rebrand Eureka the Orban Monastery, and oh, I'll be there geez. every day, all day. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're getting that. Um, they also teased uh, Balthier equipment. For Bard! So, hooray! Yeah, hooray. <laughs> for, yeah. for your Bard machinists. Um, <laughs> they talked about this during the live letter. Uh, and they said when this gear was made originally, they were under the impression that the character would appear. Mm-hmm. Uh, but because of some of the changes that they made with the scenario, he won't be. Uh, but there still will be a character that will make an appearance. Mm. Uh, and this was teased uh, with the new race reveal. So it's probably going to be Fran. Mm. Um, you sound so upset. So yeah. please... Please look forward yeah. to it. <laughs> are, you not, are you not happy about that fusion? I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm just, I'm just like, eh. Like, I'm not gonna race change to a Viera. Like, yeah, I'm not either. I'm just happy. I'm not race changing to an Aura. Like, eh. You're a Herman forever. A Herman. Herman. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yes. Uh, they revealed the uh, final mount that you get once you get all of the Stormblood Primal mounts. Uh, it'll be the Ninetale Fox. Mm. Um, Looks very angry. And then, of, 
And then, of course, just for just for all you know here, we have the next and final phase of Eureka, uh, the Hydados expedition, which will, uh -huh. after completing the storyline, give you access to a high difficulty public raid like content. Like Diadem. We don't know. No, don't do. Why would you do that, Squid? No, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I, I'm having I mean, like horrible flashbacks to watching people try and do that raid in DM2. Oh, oh god. Just wiping yes. because like one guy has no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay, matchmaking. Well. I mean it's cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, the uh the zone design for, for Eureka is just gorgeous. And so it'll be interesting yes. to see how that all plays out. It's beautiful. Hydatos looks cool. I'm not crazy yeah. about Pyros, just mm. because so much of it is like freaking snow mountain and it's supposed to be fire element. Yeah. Mm. What? Mm. No. They have to have a natural transition from one to the other. And no, they don't. Just put me in a volcano. No. It's one they don't island. need a natural transition. I'd rather be in a volcano than be in Eureka. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actual I, volcano. I, I'm, still, I'm still like just like, you know, on, uh, <laughs> on you know, it feels like principal. Like, where's my daggum level sink? I'm like, huh. Eh. Oh, like, yeah, that'd be amazing. It would help we'll, out. We'll put, yeah. we'll put Charles on one of those crazy Japanese game shows. It's like, all right, you have two options for your for your next next stage here. You can either play Eureka, or we'll stick you in an active live volcano. <laughs> Bring on the you volcano. You know what, Look, Kathy? I think I'll take the volcano. Well, James, you picked that really quickly. Uh, I, 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 nobody takes the volcano. Uh, <laughs> it's okay though. It's actually it's not lava. It's just full of tang. That's oh, fine. you see that's fine. That's okay. There you go. A little Simpsons <laughs> reference for you. Um, yeah. uh, new PvP, uh, new Rival Wings, which I don't think yeah. anybody saw coming. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be the uh, Hidden Gorge. Mm -hmm. um, looks good. There's a trap. Yeah, nice. they only they, they showed two pictures, only released one. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I didn't grab the one off stream. But mm -hmm. um, there's a train track, and there's like a weird goblin train. Yeah. So take that as you will. Yeah, they were like, hey, don't be in the way of the train. And I've never been so happy that I don't think rescue works in PvP, does it? It does. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to die. Enjoy. <laughs> if they, I mean, that's assumed that you Can we just get a, a video skill? of people just pulling people in front of the train? Oh, good. That's going to be great. Wow. Just get like, Did just you... find like the snooty tank or DPS in the party that's better than snooty. everyone else and just be like, hey, please I mean, get run you know... over by the train. You it'd be, it'd be an offensive skill, skill now if, if literally you could use it on enemies. You know, like, well, yeah, get yeah. over here. <laughs> <laughs> home gang. Yeah, home, yeah, home gang. That's right. There, there are those yeah. skills. And I mean, and you wouldn't die, maybe. Well, it's also it's also a skill White Mage has um, when uh, pushing people off the edge on uh, the 24 oh, yeah. and stuff. It's like, yeah, like, get or, uh, you get out of yeah. here. As long as you have damage, you're dead. I, I hope that it... it is a big deal and it makes a kind of environmental aspect to pvp because that would be cool i mean mm -hmm. you, you know it just came out smash and how much environmental aspects really ramp up smash it'd be cool i don't yeah. know agreed yeah. agreed <laughs> we'll have to wait and see uh yeah. gold saucer is also getting another mini game no it's not blitzball mm -hmm. it is air <laughs> force one it's good that uh, they said. Didn't they also say something else is coming for? Yeah, something uh, else is coming. They're going to show it point. off on the twenty first. Yes. Um. So yeah, maybe that's Blitzball, or maybe it's <laughs> not. I don't. I don't know what else it would be. Um. Yeah. So Air Force One. It essentially takes that that Air Force mount from uh, mm -hmm. from the Omega raids, and it turns it into a weird on rails shooter mini game. Yeah. yeah. So please look forward to it. Maybe it'll be <laughs> fun. Yeah, shoot stuff. Maybe it will be. Um, that was it from the live letter. Uh, yesterday, however, there was a developer's blog post. Um, they are going to be making some UI adjustments here with patch 4.5. Um, <laughs> recently, I'm they sorry. let you be able to favorite oh, your this, uh, uh, minions and mounts. And so now mm -hmm. uh, you can make it so that those roulettes will also just use your favorited minions and mounts. Nice. So... That is when they did that with four people, I was Easter like, egg, all they need five times in a row hitting your flying mount roulette. Uh, no more mana cutter. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, when they made that uh, change in 4.4, I was like, oh, great. They, if they only now make the Just roulette further, to, Just take it. And, then, and they did. And that's when that way I saw that. And I was like, oh, there we go. Be because now that's, it's like, I actually just started picking my mount. I was like, this is the one that I'm going to use. I, I wouldn't use a roulette, but. Uh, 
in... there's so much content that that we've gotten over the past five years you can just look at it you're like all right like cross world link shells and you know party finder cross world and you're like just, mm-hmm. just go a little further a little world visiting just keep it going just a little bit more you almost there. Was there. <laughs> <laughs> um they're adding a transparency element to uh the hud settings mm-hmm. um they are adding a challenge log sort by complete and incomplete option mm-hmm. um and then alarm settings apparently were under system sounds instead or, or i'm sorry in uh under bgm yeah. So if you're one of those people that like gets the the arboretum for like the third time in a row that week, right. and you're like, you know what, I'm not listening to this BGM again. You turn it down, and you had an alarm set to go off a little bit later. You wouldn't hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so uh, yeah. that'll be under system sounds now. That's gonna be uh, nice. And there is also now a new sound for uh, ready check. I hope it's a giant air horn. <laughs> yeah. Get back in game. Going, Wake, Wake up. up. <laughs> yeah. It's time to raid. Pay attention. <laughs> All right, and then that, of course, brings us to Blue Mage. Blue Mage. Oh, yes. I am, yeah. like, before we jump into that, I am personally <laughs> excited about the name of the of the, uh, the patch. Like, I don't know, like, from a lore oh. perspective. Sure, yeah. It, it can mean a couple different things, but as, as, as a Catholic, uh, Requiem right is a mass for the souls of the dead. Yeah. And that's what, that's what like, from a, the, from a, and I don't know if that's how they're going to take it, because there's one or two other ways, and I'm just like. Yeah, it's very interesting. I favorite excited. scion they're gonna die unless it's thankred he's good he's been yeah, cg he's fine <laughs> i guarantee that he lives no through at flies. least 5.0 is the warrior like gonna die i don't know <laughs> we have to give up I, everything we have to sacrifice the, yeah so se- secret secret bonus reveal uh new game plus it's actually not <laughs> an optional feature no, you nice. have to do it yeah because you die, you die. <laughs> wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be a twist as the warrior of darkness now oh, it's like okay oh my, God. Oh my gosh and anyway i Zodiac, all praise to yeah. Zodiac. Heidelin is even. I'd be sitting yeah. there, and be like, not sure if want to unsub. Yeah. <laughs> well, That'd yeah, horrible. You know. Oh my gosh! All right, anyway, yeah, yeah. Blue Mage, um, something Blue not Mage. controversial. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Blue Mage. All right, so here's here's what's going down. As the leak suggested, this is a patch 4.5 release. Mm-hmm. Um, my my biggest problem with so many things, though. Um, that are coming in patch 4.5 with the exception of eureka mm-hmm. they never really say which part of 4.5 yes, exactly um and i don't think that they have with blue mage there might be a lot of people expecting something next month and we may not be getting it till march yeah we'll know on the 21st they weren't, i hope they weren't really yeah ideally we'll know on the 21st yeah. Yeah. um that's that's the problem when they they split this stuff. Just make a yeah. four point six. It's okay. It's okay. You can do it's it. It's okay. You don't need to put a rate in it. Like just part yeah. one and part two. It's it's fine. Um, <laughs> it is three months never, basically they after. They never it is a four specify six. which part. Yeah, it is. Just like gosh. Yeah. Um, so Blue Mage will be coming in some part of patch four point five. Just to be clear mm-hmm. on that, um, the level cap for it will be fifty because it is going to be the first limited job mm-hmm. for Final Fantasy XIV. It's not connected to any class. Um, it'll use ranged magic and DPS gear and roll actions. And to unlock it, uh, you don't need any expansions. You just need a level 50 Disciple of War magic and have finished 2.0. Mm-hmm. And then you can get into it. Um, yeah. So limited job. <laughs> limited, it's silly what hat. is a limited job? Mm. Um this is kind of weird, and I, I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah. Um, essentially, I mean, could we? Could any of us really know if we like it until we go hands on? I mean, I mean, it's true. That's true. I, I, I see. I, I don't think it matters if we like it. I think it matters if Yoshida likes it because we know. Yeah. That Yoshida doesn't like pet classes. Yeah. And when they were talking about this, other examples that he gave as limited jobs were pet beast classes. tamer and puppet master. Yeah. He's like, here's a way to give the people kind of what they want, but I don't have to worry about it as much with balancing for raids. Great. Mm-hmm. Well, at least to everybody. start out, like you, you think about the massive amount of work at level 80 and 90, 100, like mm-hmm. as the game yeah. goes forward, like, oh, hey, check it out. Like we're going to have to try to balance this job against everything mm-hmm. else, against all the other stuff. You know, it's like, huh? Well, I mean, that's how just... jobs work. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it's, this is this could be an easy on way on boarding way that it's like we can continually be getting mm-hmm. content that, that it's a part of this. Yeah, you know, I don't know side side system for the start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at some point, it'll, like it's going to be, be a weird starting off. 
we'll have to yeah. see how it goes. Um, yeah. But yeah, it is designed for solo play. Um, you will not be able to enter duties that require matchmaking, duty roulette, PvP content, or deep dungeon. Um, essentially, if you want to go back and do anything, you'll have to do it with preformed parties, which will be needed mm -hmm. if you want to get certain spells. Um, I think my my biggest question, and we we didn't go over um, the battle panel about ultimate ultimate or the lore yeah. panel, um, yeah. just for for time because there's a lot yeah. of stuff that we're going so through much. here. Um, my my question, especially after ultimate ultimate, now they they talked about this content and how they're almost developing it solely to be streamed. They want to make it something that people want to see, something that people would want to stream. Mm -hmm. And now with Blue Mage, I'm wondering, are they taking that same approach sure. to jobs? Because mm -hmm. it's solo content. You don't. If you're a streamer, you can just jump in and go spell farming. You mm -hmm. don't have to wait for cues for anything. Yep. Um, yeah. And it's it's kind of that mix of like, I don't know if I like that direction or not because, yeah. you know, you can bring. I'm your not community. like the marketing people. Like you know, like I don't care if people are watching this game on Twitch. I'm enjoying yep. it. I'm having fun. Yeah, exactly. But I don't See, know. I I fall in the boat where I'm really actually excited about the concept because Blue Mage is the first job that has more than one build. Uh, you know, and so we don't know how many that's going to end up being, but, it, you know, just based off the skills and what you can slot when you don't, uh, when order doesn't matter, you're looking at 63 trillion. If order does matter, which it would actually sub 49. So any level seeking content, you order your skills could technically matter. We're talking about uh, a word that I don't know because it's, it takes trillion times it by 63 trillion times it by 63 trillion. And all of a sudden that's how many potential builds that you have. Uh, right. It's the, uh, the, one of the things that I think that usually is leveraged as complaint towards the game is like every warrior is just like every other warrior. And the only solution is, is that glamour is the true end game because the only thing that really differentiates you beyond skill is your glamour uh, and how you look. And that makes perfect game balancing mathematical sense. Mm -hmm. Blue Mage taking it out of matchmaking, preform parties. People are always like, Blue worked in 11. 11 didn't have matchmaking. <laughs> like you went and yeah. you found your own party. <laughs> right. Um, but putting a system, building this kind of system for me, I think opens up the game to a, a huge potential. Now that potential could not be realized, AKA eggy glamours. If, if blue mage and the limited job system goes that way, it's going to be horrible. Like it will literally <laughs> like, this will be frustrating because every patch you'll be on edge and hope that they increase the, the cap. The only questions that I have is that I, and this is an assumption on my part, I believe the only reason we can't do Palace of the Dead at mm. four or five is because the level sure. cap is fifty, and so if we right. when it gets to sixty, if they let you preform a party into Palace of the Dead, that could be interesting because then it's mm. up to you, you know, like, and then your spells open up as as you level like slots, but it's just slot spells. Uh, so there's a potential there, like I think that the, maybe that that is the reason that is the only content. And the only thing I would say is that I think it would be interesting for them at some point to build a PVP build. You don't need the blue mage the way that, you know, you could easily build a, here's your six skills or whatever for PVP. Yeah. And you know, you have that and you can go do that if you so mm -hmm. choose, you know, but beyond yeah. that, like uh, I, I think that it opens up the game for when we talk about these other jobs too, that we could easily see <clears throat> that we get jobs mid expansion through the limited system and all of a sudden you get a patch that's like, hey, here's a new job patch. And that re revitalizes the open world, that re-incentivizes interesting and different kind of builds. And to, and to Fusion's point, absolutely correct. It opens it up for streamers and content creators to go and put either silly, goofy, crazy stuff. 24 man all blue, can it be done? You know, um, it's I can't the same thing for Rathalos. It's the same thing for the yeah. Rathalos format. Like, it is streaming interesting content because mm -hmm. it breaks it breaks the mold. And one of the complaints that I think all four of us here on this panel right here have said is that it seems a little samey from time to time. And Blue yeah. Mage is not samey. It is no, no, but to a degree, you want the jobs to be samey. You want to be able to take them into the thing sure. that you're taking all your other jobs I, into. Yeah. I, I think people are disappointed about that. That's the I'm other not, interesting I'm point. Not, I'm not, I do not want to discount that 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 view. <laughs> The question yeah, is, I mean, is that if it's a matter that we get there, let's say it's five, two, five, three, and all of a sudden it's there, then all of this is serving as a way that we can kind of beta test and as a community provide feedback so that by the time it does make it there, it doesn't freaking destroy the entire thing. Like all of a sudden, no, like you get there and you're like, hey guys, I'm a cap. And they're like, 
F you, man. No, get out. <laughs> or, I think, or, I think there's, or, oh, we want all blue. Like, you know, it's like it, mm-hmm. it could go either way badly. This mm-hmm. way, by the time it hits cap, we're providing feedback. We've, you know, we've been able to kind of say, hey, this is what what's acceptable. And then mm-hmm. but we'll have to wait and see if this is a eggy glamour system. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's, there's a couple of points that I want to bring up that I think are interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. The first part is that um, the reason that I think Blue Mage is going to be popular, mm-hmm. not necessarily liked, but a lot of people are going to try it, yes. is because we have t- a two-part 4.5 patch, and there's mm-hmm. going to be a lot of downtime before the expansion. Yep. And this is going to be something that people can do when they're bored Mm -hmm. um that's that's number one the second thing is this could have easily been made like a normal 14 job sure while still maintaining some of that blue mage identity Mm -hmm. we have job quests you need a new action to be learned maybe blue mage just has more job quests than every other job but you do the job quest you go out you fight a mob you get the Mm -hmm. spell done everybody has it it's balanced not it's a problem. No more work than the mass carnival. Right. But I mean, because they said that there's a lot of stages if, to it. If, you know, if like, anything, Blue yeah. Mage required more work than a normal job would have. Sure. They just don't need to consider the balance with normal content. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't understand. Because this is something that we've talked about before. If they mm-hmm. did a Blue Mage, they could easily do it with job quests and monsters and learning the actions. Yeah, sure. But instead, now we have it as a weird limited job. And you have the the two sides right you have the people who are like oh like it's solo stuff and that'll be fun i can go and mess around and whatever and then you have like the raiders who are like well what the hell <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean they, I they're to bring this into a raid you know and, <laughs> and i i'm very curious if you know what the the reasoning was behind this because i mean you could easily go that like it seems easy to me anyway right to do mm-hmm. the job quest right. and, and it's it's still blue mage right you know, it, you learn it from the monsters, and it's it's not as direct as, mm-hmm. you know, previous games like Eleven or something, but it still helps to have that identity, and you meld it into the, the lore of 14 and stuff, and I think it would it would have been fine, and everybody would have been happy with it. Um, well, one, one interesting thing to think on, though, on that note, is kind of two things that are coming up. A, the battle system's getting changed in 5.0. Yeah. You exactly. know, and so, and if the leaks were true, this was going to be scheduled for 4.4. You know, so there could have been easily some, you know, some things that like, oh, it's taking longer to et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then, A, we're going to be making a lot of bigger changes. Mm-hmm. How do we, do we delay it for five until 5.0? Or do we, you know, like you said, like Fusion said, yeah, we have this exactly. big gap. It's a six month gap, guys. Like it's like a six months. What do we do? You get your story, you get your story, you do your, you know, you do your end game, right? You're not really progressing because the hardest content already exists and there's no ultimate. Mm-hmm. How, do do? how do you feel? How do you feel six months? And I think that's, it's a really interesting answer. And then if this is a way they can introduce jobs that are complex that we can then provide feedback on, like with, you know, and all of a sudden it maybe, yeah, maybe they'll get one point where they can go into the, into the stuff. But I, I, I fall on, I fall on the, the, the optimistic side. Cause I'm like this, the fact is, is that no, this feel, I feel more respected because they are willing to take a risk as opposed to, they weren't willing to take a risk. They just carbon copied it. And it just feels, sure. it feels like a blue well, mate. And, like and I think another, another important part as well is, we always talk about how we want them to break the mold, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and the few times that they have kind of mixed things up, mm-hmm. we got D&M, yeah. which they had to redo because nobody <laughs> liked it. Right. Nobody still likes <laughs> yeah. it. And then they introduce Eureka, which is the most mixed reaction I have seen. It's either, it's it's like a, a hate it or tolerate it content. Right. Um, and now I think, they're they're taking that same approach to jobs, but mm-hmm. I think the problem is that the job system is so core, like mm-hmm. to this game, that I just I don't know. Like I, I will try it. Mm-hmm. I will, yeah. you know, I will I will oh, probably sure. end up playing it for for a long time. But um, I don't know if this was the right direction to take with Blue yeah. and I think that they can if it does fail. It's not like DM where they've actually just said maybe we'll just remove it, right? Yeah, because oh well, we tried. Um, <laughs> but with Blue Mage, I mean, I feel like they could easily um, rework easily. the job. 
Well, like, yeah. but well, you're right. That's exactly right. Make, they remake make the, the actions, add a couple job quests, and integrate it to the actual sure. game. You yeah. know, instead the of the surprises side stuff. come 5.0, uh, all the jobs have to go through a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I'll do it. The, the rework. Yeah. The rework is everybody levels like blue mage. Go <laughs> enjoy the rework. Yeah, because yeah, you could easily see them make limited versions of the current jobs. You know, they could they could end up easily seeing them being this thing that ends up yeah. going back and forth. But also at the same time. Um, let, let's say, uh, let's say blue mage can be all three roles right now. They're slotted to the one, you know, uh, caster role. Mm -hmm. We don't know what 5.0 is bringing. Imagine if it's like, Hey, you can multi-role, you can, you know, based off your build, you can do it, you know, all speculation, all, all things. Mm -hmm. But that's where, that's where the excitement comes for me is that this does not feel the same. It feels different. It feels like there's, there's experimenting and like fusion said, fusion actually, I think made the, the most definite point. It's not like they can't forget about it. They can't like they can't just have like here's this job and it's always level fifty and we're done with it. No, mm -hmm. that won't like not like Diadem. That's we're like okay, we're just gonna delete it. It would it forces them in a way because of the nature that they're labeling at a job, even though with the limited aspect, it does force them in a way that this is gonna be something that I think that they're gonna keep sticking with. And if it allows yeah. for if if in two years we're all sitting back and we're like oh and now we have this new job like new limited job. Once we understand what the hell that means. Yeah. Like once you understand, mm -hmm. hey, yeah. this patch we got a level ten. Like let's say it's level t ten levels every every patch after five zero. You know, or whatever that volume is. Once we have a better understanding, mm -hmm. then it's not so much sticker shock of what is this because that's right. at the core any excitement or 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 fear of it literally comes in. What the hell does this really mean? Like someone what in the chat said that too. Like it'd have been nice if they'd have been more specific about sure. what the heck. The yeah. Job yeah. is. Yeah. All what it, does all, that mean? It, 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 let's say 5.3. Will it be rated is, or not? Raid ready. Let's say five, yeah. patch 5.3, it's raid ready. Like if they laid that out, say, and then by this patch, which, you know, you can expect this much time, this is going to be raid ready. So, oh, okay. You know, the thing is, is people were like, or will not. I ever be it or not? And, that, yeah. and then that way it's it's not unknown. Because if it yes. never, if it's always one expansion behind, let's say you can only get, in 5.0 can only get a maximum of 70. And they say, mm -hmm. and then, you know, if it's always that, then at least we know and then we can yeah. you know okay this is what it means you know yeah the the question that i have uh because yeah i agree i can't i can't wait personally to go and try and do all of bahamut with as many blue mages as you can stuff into a party i want to do it <laughs> um but i want to know why they thought that they couldn't put it into matchmaking because what i really think that they could have done easily is to make it so that you can't do matchmaking until you have all your abilities. The rest is up to you. Mm -hmm. Like whatever build, you can talk about that with your group. Um, they at least have all of them. You know, like you could do that. You could even restrict, well, you know, you have to have at least these 24 on your bars. Like you could do something crazy like that. But they are 100% afraid of pushing any part of this community to be good at this game. Like they don't, they're like, no, 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 no. We don't want you to be able to be Savage. matchmaking. No, it's true. Because we know that people are going to be bad and that's going to make everything horrible. The game doesn't teach you how to play. Yes. They, like there's like, you know, the, the, there's no feedback yeah. in whether you're doing good or bad. Right. I don't want, I don't want real time DPS meters, but there's a thousand solutions yes. out there that yeah. exist. That you and, get mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I'm just afraid that that's why they started with this idea. And, you know, they fleshed it out pretty well. I, I'm going to enjoy it. It's fine. But I just hope that that's not where they started with. Like, oh, Blue Mage is impossible because, man, like, how would we even get people to be good at it? And then they're going to be mad at each other. <laughs> and, you know, like, I hope that that didn't have any part in it. You know, and they were just like, oh, le learning jobs, you know, learning ability is kind of hard. Because a lot of the other ones that they talked about, like Beastmaster, um, oh. are and puppet master it's like yeah. yeah but they don't learn in a weird way they could be in a party why would they be limited you know like what because because if she doesn't like pet jobs that he doesn't have to worry about them he wants to just be like okay you want to pet up here you go play over here while the grown-ups are over here raiding can right. i not be a pet job and that's 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 the real <laughs> biggest issue especially I mean, if you're one of these people that yes. want to raid on blue mage it's, it's true Square enix had a clear route where they could have made blue mage a sure. normal job and they purposefully Yes. didn't take it for some reason for some reason yes and i i just hopefully I wanna... it wasn't for the sake of being different and hopefully yes. the argument isn't uh to make it more like a traditional blue mage because right. that's not an answer 
Sure. In this case, the sake you of being easily... friends isn't necessarily a bad. Yeah, argument, no, it's though. not like, a bad right? argument. No. No. It's new, and we hate change. <laughs> yes, right, that's and that's <laughs> the, the, you look at the, the acceptance curve. It's like okay, oh, you know, and then it's like you kind of come to this concept of acceptance, yeah. and then. But the thing is, is that out of everything, out of mm -hmm. you know, like even with Eureka, we're like, oh, it's kind of like dying. Like we we had already some kind of thing to kind of base it off of. In mm -hmm. this case, it's li like limited. Like it, yeah. it is all all. The, the, the problem is, is yeah. they're they're experimenting more. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is on the heels of Eureka, which was their latest experiment, which right. has had a very critical reception. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, okay, but it's like not content, yeah. but it is content. Yeah. Like it's what's the yeah, solution maybe. though, in this regards, because we, 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 we hate them or the hate and I hate, we like, we oh, get yeah. onto them for not for everything being the same. Like if mm -hmm. everything's the same, mm -hmm. it's boring. Uh, and then when they do stuff, we get on and I, I agree like i'm not necessarily i like some of the things they were trying in eureka it just didn't feel like they actually went that far it's like if you ran 75 percent of the race and you're like oh man if they only did these the if they only finished like it would have yeah. been really cool but then you yeah. go and like did a recent interview and we're not we didn't even cover it for time's sake recent interview coming out talking about the development of it that they were originally targeting it for like four one it got pushed to four two and then based the uh, Pagos was already finished basically by the time that was coming out. So yeah. then Pyros is the first time that like really the feedback from the community has really been yeah. able to reach them. But you have this weird amalgamation that ends up being good or okay, awful, great. And then the next one probably, you know, people might really enjoy, but it's, it's this, it's, it, it's the sucky, awful truth of game development that it's going to take six yep. to nine months to do anything, mm -hmm. you know, okay. and that there's no like, Oh, we, we've hit this, property switch and oh that, that fixed everything it's all good mm -hmm. you know I, I don't know i i like like i've said we're gonna have, you know, once we go hands-on and once we kind of feel it out over the next couple of months this gives me something to actually play like my, my plan for four or five was to do, do the story and play other games like mm -hmm. i was like like i'm i've got gear like i'll do the raid like i'm not worried about trying to because I've, I've maxed out all my jobs like i don't mm -hmm. you know okay we're good but now I'm like, this is actually something that is drawing me right back into yeah. where my concern is I won't take a break before 5.0 because I will <laughs> yeah. be either yeah. hunting skills or trying to create interesting builds that will do neat things or try to get a group of 24 blue mans, blue man, <laughs> blue man, blue man <laughs> yeah. to, to go and attack the crystal tower. Like, we're just in Vegas. Exactly. Oh, no. I'm just saying like, it could be awful, but it's at least something that I feel is interest like it, it has me more interested than I've been interested over the course of Stormlight. Sure, I just I think I, think, I hope that we didn't sacrifice the idea yeah. of Blue Mage for the idea of a limited job, and it will never be. Yeah, it'll never be able to raid because people yeah. Blue Mage is just like Red Mage, just like Summoner, just like you know they, any they of compromises. These, yeah, yeah, just like any of these jobs there. Final Fantasy jobs that you love and you want to do in the content that you like to do. Yeah. If this and, never gets yeah. raid ready, that will then, be a real big yeah, loss that's, that's and a real disappointing a thing. Yeah. But it, the fact is, if it's not raid ready day one versus day, yeah, you know, exactly. So we got to wait. Five, like that's fine. Like I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm and, you know, the way they presented it, I don't think it will be. I don't think it's ever. It's yeah, right now. It's not intended for that at all. Right. Sure. But if you can do a pre build and go into do the the current raid yeah. with a pre made. Yes, the, I don't see any problem. If with they it. ever get up to the right level, then well, you the, the problem is, people. is right now, <laughs> right now, there's going to be, um, I have the number. Where did it go? There's 49 abilities right now with the level 50 cap when yeah. it, when it's introduced. 24 um, available to equip. So yeah. yeah, you can equip 24, 49 total. Um, that's a lot of stuff to balance. 63 yeah. trillion possibilities. Way <laughs> more stuff to balance than just like a normal job. Right. Yeah. And if that, and so always we'll, I don't think we'll ever ever see it. Yeah, and it's possible, and that I think would be a real loss. Yeah, I think it would be. Uh, a real and loss. I and I agree, and I think I think where where I'm having the the mental issues with this is when you look at 14 as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have your jobs, you have content. Mm -hmm. I don't see the jobs as content. Mm -hmm. I see content as the things you play with the jobs. So mm -hmm. what they did instead of introducing Blue Mage as a job, they introduced it as content. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. that's and a I really just, good point. I yeah. really don't know what to make of that until I try it. Sure. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I the thing is is that I, you know, we we can keep providing feedback and honestly it feels that, you know, I, I feel heard because one of the compl- that's my complaint. I was like yeah. everything like no warrior, every warrior is just the same. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't need sixty three trillion options. <laughs> but you know, it's like it would be neat to see. And um, you know, and, and who knows? Like I I'm really curious like it it speaks to curiosity more than anything else i'm not i'm not worried because i still would main summoner like i'm i'm not worried because like i still have something to play yeah. mm-hmm. um and if i can then i will and if blue mage mm-hmm. doesn't become raid ready then i think that's a loss for the game and the community um yeah. i just yeah like i yeah. think i've killed this horse <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know like this is what the community is talking about we have to yeah. go through you know this all is, of this the, is this is the, the hot topic right now yeah. it is it is like, and it's the nice thing is is that they gave us this and we don't wait nine months they give us yes. this and we have, oh wait a wait a month and a week and you're going to be good you know mm-hmm. or we'll maybe know. three we don't know they weren't really specific that's well months. true if, they, if, they, if it's not four or five at the launch I think that'll be real long. That's, that's the problem. Yes. Like any other patch, it's like, okay, 4.1, 4.2, here's 4.5. Yeah. Five. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be six months of content. So we're going to go faster giant... than we think. Yeah, yeah it, will. it will. It will go faster than we think. Um, so let's actually talk a little bit more about the details of Blue Mage. Because we were just yeah. kind of sure. talking about its, its existence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it exists. Yeah. So they they like to they like to point out uh, during the live letter when they were talking about Blue Mage that Mr. Atma designed this. Um, mm-hmm. so monster mm-hmm. actions will be learned um, you will need to see the actions of the monsters you don't need to get hit by them and then you will quote rarely learn mm-hmm. the abilities yeah rarely. so I mean you know. I hope you like grinding I because mean. you're gonna have to if you want to fill out your, your blue mage uh, spell log here yeah. and you know I'm that that's blue mage yep <laughs> that is yeah blue. no that that yep. is that is absolutely blue mage <laughs> yep <laughs> there's other ways they could have done it but that yeah. is that's the blue that's mage. what i remember yeah <laughs> yeah um we will also be able to learn they gave us a, a short list of spells that we'll mm-hmm. be able to get um thousand needles bad breath um we'll be able to learn eruption from ifrit so you will be able to get stuff from primals mm-hmm. um there will be uh, Aqua Breath. Um, there will be Mighty Guard. Yeah. Um, for you that, for those of you who pay attention, have actually used the level two tank limit break. That all was the called time. Mighty Guard. All yeah. the time. Yeah. It's called Stronghold now. They I'm, changed it up. I'm upset. Um, like, I'm always upset in that DPS. Hey, you didn't use it, man. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> uh, they also talked about um, death or like level five death or, or something. Um, so yeah, forty nine unique abilities. abilities at launch and 24 can be equipped at a time that stupid bow can i can i please just just <laughs> for one second i'm i the i don't have much of the blue mage salt but the only salt i do have as a summoner is you get to use shiva's bow and i don't <laughs> get stuff from shiva and ifrit that i will never see like okay that's fine i'm fine i'm fine, fine, fine. i mean at least you I have an if an ifrit glamour yeah. Right. Or an eggy. Like you don't even yeah. have a Shiva eggy yet. Like remember eggies yeah. when they were a thing, and they were like, so yeah, like we had to <laughs> work on like an animation system, but we got that done now, so you'll see more. Yep. <laughs> that's that's okay. The, the only real salt I have about Blue Mage is like I want that. Okay, fine. Okay. That'll be that'll be like the big summoner update for 5.0. Eggies. Oh god no <laughs> or so, yeah another summoner like i mean Please jobs are getting reworked forward. yeah they are and, 5.0 you know, is you know we don't you don't know what you're gonna like I mean, yeah exactly i'm not actually mad i'm just like what <laughs> the first thing to me after like, I mean, uh, after he got to go hands-on to the media man i was like how is it and he's like some people are gonna be pissed <laughs> <laughs> and that was from yeah. 4.0 yeah. Like, yeah all right yeah like things mm-hmm. are things are changing yeah Every, that's true. yeah um you must unlearn so, what you have learned we also have the blue mage log um, that will tell you the location of where you'll be able to learn spells, but they won't tell you like what mob it is. Um, mm-hmm. So you kind of have to just take that and then figure it out. Um, or you know, there's probably going to be some wiki somewhere, like mm. Gamerscape wiki, that'll have all that information. Oh, is there a site with a wiki? That- Who that is? Huh. Right? Yeah, I'm sure we will be going nuts uh-huh. with the blue mage update. I can't wait. I bet Ez can't wait either. <laughs> Get ready. Um, and then, last but not least, here we have fancy charts. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Charts and graphs. Uh, we have a, a Blue Mage only instance uh, called the Masked Carnival. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be capped at level fifty, mm -hmm. um, and you will have to use your abilities that you've learned to undertake unique challenges. And you'll have to uh, use those abilities to exploit weaknesses of the enemies over three rounds. Um, and there are 25 types of these three round stages. So essentially, the more stuff you know, the better chance you have of clearing it. Mm -hmm. um, and and here's here's the other question. What is... What's the end goal for Blue Mage? Sure. Yeah, I beat this, I guess. Uh... I, beat, I beat the Masked Carnival. Here's okay, your now... Now yeah. what? I, I, you know, I just, I don't yeah. know. Have a furniture piece. Have a song. I don't know. Yeah, like, the, the, the obviously <laughs> rewards are going to be yeah. kind of the key of it. The nice thing like about it, though, is that if nobody does want to play with Blue Mages, if everybody's like, nope, no Blue, no, no Blue, yeah. the, um, it gives the, at least you something to challenge and, and clear, and then we'll see it probably evolve yeah. with when the level cap goes to 60 and then 70. And, you know, it's like, yeah. it gives you something to do to say, like, oh, I really yeah, want Blue this. Mage but no serves way. a really, a really weird role and and i i don't know if it's it feels too perfect to be in not intentional like mm -hmm. with this gap that we have with between yeah. the patches and the expansion mm -hmm. there is so much time where people are going to need something to do and with the rng of learning spells having to preform groups to do old primals mm -hmm. to get spells Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think that they're really hoping that this just, it brings people back into older content, into the open right. world. Mm -hmm. And hopefully maybe at that same time, new players come in. Mm -hmm. It just, I, it feels oddly intentional and I don't, I don't know if it is or not. Mm -hmm. And I, and I hope that it's not because that means they took what could have been a normal job and mm -hmm. they're like, how can we make this into like. A Stop good it. job for like marketing we don't and new know players that it before won't the expansion. Get to where we want it, though. Right. It's true. Well, so I here's mean, the thing, and, and, I, and I agree with you. Yeah. But I think right now there are zero plans on the table, and it'll only happen after the community just complains nonstop for like the whole expansion cycle, and, and then six point is... they'll be like, "Blue Mage isn't limited anymore." <laughs> yeah. And um, also, you only get one job with six point Enjoy. Yeah, well, it the carnival to me was the best thing to gate matchmaking behind. You want to know if a blue mage is good? Beat the carnival. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That that why yeah. I don't know why that's not already the thing, but maybe yeah. that might be something that they'll do in the future. Maybe I mean that'd be a cool idea. It'll be feedback. Uh, it's it'll have to be based off of a feedback because it's like we yes. can and it's like hey, we want this or change this or this would be good. And then, yeah. okay, and then do this, and all of a sudden that opens up. Uh, yeah. And maybe that opens up with, you know, each tier. Like, okay, now you've done 50, so all the 50 stuff could be match made, but you have to have that flag clear um, so you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Um, you know, so it's... That'd be fun. It's up to us. Like, it's a community to ask for. If anything else, Blue Mage shows that Yoshi P is listening to what we keep asking for we've been asking yeah. for blue and he and whether he answers it the way that everybody wants or not i mean it's his game make you know make your game we'll let you know if you like it or not and, <laughs> and numbers and all that has a power but yeah like if 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 that ends up being where the community is like if they've done this we're good to be, be matched with them I'm, I'm sure that could be, that could happen at some point yeah i mean that'd be cool yeah, um, there will definitely be lots of blue mage discussion Oh, in the yes. months to come, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> without a doubt, it will content. It will be a constant, constant thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and that is it. Yeah. That is all that we have on the outline. We did it. We did it. We did it. A couple other highlights uh, from FanFest. Something I do want to mention. Um, we thought he was going to be around today, um, but he he had some stuff come up. It looks like a uh, big giant shout out to Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, if you didn't see the lore panel, go watch the lore panel. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was, Just it tell was something, him. It's, it's so cool. I'm so proud of this dude. Like I really am. Um, yeah. Anonymous helped work on Encyclopedia Eorzea Volume Two. Um, he did, a, you know, helped with fact checking and yeah, like it's cool. Koji brought him up on stage during the lore panel, um, and then like pushed him off after they found an error. Um, <laughs> it creators, I. You know, yeah. it's a thing. 
Um, but yeah, it's stuff for it the was... community. They pay attention, and then they mm-hmm. hire you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, really cool stuff. Go, go check that out. Check out the lore book if you haven't. I know I've yes. seen lots of people getting their hands on their copies this week. Uh, looking on Twitter here. So, uh, check that out if you haven't seen any of the stuff from FanFest. It's all free. It's online. It's on Twitch. Go check it out. Uh, go watch the trailer for for Shadowbringers if you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Um, if you I'm haven't sure already, where have you been? Right. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. But here we are doing a, a fan fest show like a month after fan fest. So who knows? Maybe <laughs> if people are following us, they're just way behind the curve. It took us that long to recover. Yeah. You got, when you go to Vegas, you got to go hard. That's sure. that's what it was. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So that'll do it. Um, there will be a live letter uh, December twenty first at three a.m. Um, I don't know if we will be doing a show or not. We'll be talking we'll be about that after the show. We'll be at 3 a.m. Uh, watching the live letter with you. <laughs> yeah. about that. Um, but we'll figure That's that out, lie. and we will let you guys, we will let you know what we're doing for that. Um, I might be awake, but the show will not be on. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to contact the show, you can do so. Aetherite Radio at GamerEscape.com. Throw us an email. Ask us questions, whatever you want to do. Give us your feedback. We are also on Twitter at Aetherite Radio. And of course, mm-hmm. you can follow Gamer Escape at Gamer Escape on Twitter, Facebook, and join our Discord server at discord.gg. Hang out and say hello. Oh. I like it when people say hello. Yes. We might even say hello back. It's true. If you're lucky. Oh, wow. And, you know, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, it's that get hello a name. message RNG. You never know. <laughs> I didn't get a name, but uh, there was someone at the fan fest who came up to us to say hello, and that Yay! was awesome too. Like that was, I, I, you know, I, I'm, we didn't exchange names. I don't believe. Uh, also, it was Vegas, so you know, but that was awesome. You know, <laughs> I actually, I actually signed like, an autograph. You know who Vegas. we are? What, really? Holy crap! <laughs> I had, uh, <laughs> I think you. it was uh, Mary. Mary had me sign his 1.0 collector's edition <laughs> book. Oh, that's awesome. And I was yeah. like, oh, which is hilarious because my first fan fest, I. I had one autograph somebody asked me to sign and it was also in a 1.0 collector's edition journal. that's awesome there so you go. that's the only thing i people ask me to sign i guess i don't i'm a relic <laughs> i'm old i don't know what they're trying to tell me but uh but there you go so thank you for everybody mm. tuning in on twitch everybody listening uh after the show on itunes or via youtube and uh we will see you here next time on aetherite radio bye, bye. everybody. Peace.